was up remember i told y'all that i wanted to go grocery shopping i still haven't went grocery shopping my refrigerator is on e it's so bad it's only water in my fridge ever since i cleaned up i cleaned the fridge and everything and i have not been grocery shopping ever since remember i told you i threw out everything all the butters all the everything because i'm starting all over i have been uber eating way too much and at this point i should be budgeting because i am going away in a few weeks so it's not a good look at all i need to be saving and yesterday after i ordered i was like you know what no this has this can't uh, 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 uh. i'm not gonna go do a big whole bunch of big shopping i'm just gonna get a couple of things you know like some cereal some fruits some greens so i can make some green juices in the morning little light stuff i'm not gonna go too too hard because I'm going away for a while and I don't want to leave things in the house that's gonna spoil so yeah I'm going to go grocery shopping Lego <laughs>
guys, I am home. I actually spent a little bit more than I intended to spend. I actually spent a lot more than I intended to spend, but it is what it is. So let me just say this. I do not know how to shop as a vegan. I, I kid you, like I don't know how to shop as a vegan yet. You know, it's something that I just have to get used to. A couple months ago, I was all on YouTube looking at food ideas and things like that. Um, I've just been buying out food and you know so i don't really know how to cook it you know i bought this beyond meat one time and it just cooked so different than the regular meat so i think i had to um soak it first it was just way too much let me mention something because someone actually um messaged me on snapchat and was asked was she, she mentioned something and i guess she thinks that i am a vegan already and i'm not a vegan yet guys <laughs> Um, I haven't, y'all don't know, you know, I'll announce when I'm like a full-blown vegan, but I'm not a full-blown vegan yet. I honestly, I know people will probably, you know, get it confused because I'm always eating plant-based majority of the time. I would say 90% of the times, yes, I do eat plant-based, but no, I'm not vegan. Sometimes I'll eat fish, sometimes I'll eat, like I just bought tuna, eat tuna, um, and or I even eat chicken. Sometimes I'll feel for chicken, you know, but that's not really like every time you know like i said 90 percent of the times i do eat plant-based but every now and then when i do have a little taste or whatever the case may be i will um you know i will eat meat you know what i mean I don't eat pork i actually ordered pork a few weeks ago right because i was craving it if you're on snapchat then you know i used to post stew pork all the time i used to get stew pork from this restaurant all the time and i will be yo it was so crazy because when i ordered that pork i paid attention to the way my body felt and all of a sudden i had the crazy itis kick in and ever since then i was like nah nah this is not normal you know whenever you're eating you're not supposed to be having the itis i know like it became the norm or it have become the norm for people to think that it's okay to get the itis whenever you after you eat and you're really not if you are getting the itis something is not right the only thing i really do eat now and then like i said is chicken but mostly fish you know i'll do the fish so yeah i'm just gonna show y'all everything that i got so i did end up getting eggs i did end up getting um turkey bacon because i'm you know like i said I really did not know what the heck I'm going to eat because, you know, like, I'm not really a vegan and I haven't been researching lately, you know, about food ideas and I have been watching videos on, you know, vegan meals and things like that. So, I had no choice. Okay, so I did get some organic blueberries. Two of these tofu scramble breakfast wraps. It is gluten free. I actually really like these. I've grabbed these a couple times before and they're really good. Uh, avocados and I got two of them so I can make um, avocado toast. Also got the skipjack wild tuna, no salt added. And this one is in water. Um, some baby carrots. This is a sweet potato. These are just some um, organic lemons, celery, I got a salad kit, and this comes with um, a Caesar dressing, croutons, and also cheese, but I did buy my own cheese, so I'm not going to eat this cheese with it. I did get the vegan cheese because I want to stay away from dairy, so I did buy the vegan cheese, so I'm just going to throw that away, but I did want the salad so I can make that for dinner. Green apples, I got three of them from Whole Foods and then I also picked up another two, I believe, just now from the Korean market. I did get three limes. Some videos that I have watched in the past, they did mention that, you know, lime is good. So especially on my avocado toast, I could just, you know, put a little lime on it, give it a little flavor. And lime definitely has its benefits for the body. These are three cucumbers some baby spinach this is organic frosted flakes this one is vegan fat free and low sodium I did get almond breeze the unsweetened almond milk um, chopped kale I was kind of iffy about which 
bread to get i ended up going with this eight grain sandwich bread they all seem to have the same ingredients in it it's just a different one like i was gonna go with the oats one but i don't know why i went with this i guess i just have to try them out and see which one i like and do further research you know before i buy it next time so yeah i just got this one to make my avocado toast i got some organic bananas uh, the fruit medley with strawberries, mangoes, bananas, pineapples, yum, yum, yum. So I can make my smoothie in the mornings. Get the organic turkey bacon, organic eggs. And this is the cheese that I, that I got. This is the Daya um, Dairy Lactose and Casein or Casein Free, Gluten and Soy Free, Cholesterol Free. It's a blended mix of mozzarella and cheddar i've had other vegan cheeses before and it actually tastes good so i'm sure this is fine organic tomato grapes to put in my salad and i've tried this one before too this is the daya home style ranch dressing it's dairy free gluten and soy free egg free and it was actually pretty good it was decent it was decent, so I went with it again. I do want to try the other one. They have like a creamy one, so I'm going to try that one next. But this one is pretty good. It's just kind of pricier. This one is like $7. And I've been wanting to try this butter for the longest. It's the Earth Balance Organic Whip. They have different kinds. Non-GMO, vegan. And I also got hummus. I've been seeing hummus on a lot of videos and I wanted to give it a try. It's um, like a little dip actually. It is made of chickpeas, water, tahini, fresh lemon juice, organic sunflower oil, vinegar, salt, fresh garlic, cumin, crust, red pepper. So some really good stuff in here. So I'm going to um, dip my baby carrots into the hummus as a little snacky snack a little healthy snack you know maybe close to bedtime or something like that so yeah i'm really excited to try this and i did get the honey nut cheerios this is a tomato because i did buy halaloo so i'm going to make halaloo and chop up some tomatoes with it some green bananas i'm going to make the halaloo with green bananas i just got some extra croutons some ginger to put in my green juice. So tasty and ginger is really, really good for you. I got some ramen. You cannot go what wrong with ramen. These are the chicken flavors. These were three for a dollar. This is the Kalaloo. And I did get this Pollock Fillets. Kind of like sawfish. And last but not least, I got two plantains. I couldn't find any ripe, ripe ones. So I just settled for two of these. Oh, 